all right so basically i've seen a lot of person talk about this recent video of my here where i showed you guys how to go ahead in creating a multiple gmail account without the use of a phone number so over the past few months a lot of person have been watching that video and i think many of you um get to see that it's not working for you and i have quite a number of person that basically it actually worked for so what i did was that i decided myself to replicate the same thing and see if that method but still work so as to validate that it is still possible for you to go ahead and create a gmail account without having a phone number so i tried it out and i realized that my goodness god it was not just working again so i think that method is not going to be working again so what i decided to do is to look for a way forward in which you and i can go ahead and creating multiple gmail account as we want to even without using a phone number for verification so in this video i'm going to be walking you through step by step on how to go about creating a new gmail account or multiple gmail account without using your phone number so i want you to pay attention to everything that i have to share with you please Please follow me every step I take would matter and if you miss a step it means you will not be able to successfully create a Gmail account without the use of a phone number so please make sure you follow me and take pay attention to every details that I'll be sharing with you now so the first thing we want to do right now is that creating a Gmail account would basically require that you have a phone number for verification and that is actually one of the Google policy that you should do well to have a phone number that they can use in verifying that you are a real human being and not a bot right so now with this method of mine it is still easy for you to go ahead and create your Gmail account without even using a phone number so as much as you want to create them as many emails you want to create you can go ahead and using the same method of mine in creating multiple Gmail account without using a phone number for verification so what you want to do right now is you want to make use of one first and foremost you want to make use of a browser known as Opera Mini okay so many of you don't know what Opera Mini is so Opera Mini is a web browser that works on mobile phone and also on the PC and this is actually one of the best browser you can find out there that can help you do the same things that Google Chrome and every other browser does and even much more it does way much more than some of these other browsers that you have get to know so for you to get opera mini you can come over to google and just get opera mini downloaded into your computer or if you're making use of a smartphone you can go ahead in downloading opera mini from your google play store or probably from your apple store it all depends on the mobile phone that you are making use of so now once you've been able to get opera mini successfully installed into your device now what you need to do is you want to come over to the incognito mode on the opera mini browser Browser. okay please pay attention the incognito mode okay you know there's a normal browser and there's an incognito mode so you want to come over to the incognito mode and once you are here on the incognito mode on the opera mini browser now you can see that um this particular one yes says a free vpn okay now please follow me closely all right you can see where it says free vpn there's a paid one here and there's also a free one so what we want to do right now is we want to basically use a different location for ours okay and this would actually help you creating your gmail account but that's not all there's still some other things you might need to do to successfully create a gmail account without the use of a phone number right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn this on right now and once i do turn it on you can see right here on my screen that this basically shows that the vpn is already turned on so that is the first thing you want to do get your opera mini app installed into your device the next thing you want to do is you want to access the incognito mode and make sure to turn on the vpn okay so once this is turned on already now you want to go ahead and you want to search for gmail.com okay so now once you go ahead and click for gmail.com you can see here what i have to do right now is i'm going to go ahead and select create a new gmail account because that is what i want to do and that's what i want to show you how to do right so once i go ahead and doing that you can see that i have um um some options here to choose from okay so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose for personal use so that is actually what i want to use the gmail for but regardless of what you are making use of the gmail for you can still use this method in creating a gmail account without using a phone number so maybe i'm going to go ahead and choose for personal use so once i've been able to select for personal use the next thing i'm going to do right now is i'm going to go ahead and add in my name details okay so things like i'm going to put in my name right now so once i've been able to fit in this name this is just a demo right so i'm going to put it in 
random name here and i'm going to act as a lady so this is actually me here um karen is actually a good one and johnny is actually a good one so now once i've been able to do all of that i'm going to go over to this one that says add my date of birth and this is actually important right to go ahead and fix something random you can make use of your own date of birth or you can just go with something random so for me i'm just going to go with my own date of birth but i'm going to change the year many of you don't need to know how old i am right good <laughs> so i'm just going to leave that the way it is right now and um, you can see now the next thing for us to do is um you can see right here it says um um the email username so what is the email username you want to make use of so for me i'm just going to put in my um email username right now and i just want to believe this has not been taken by anybody okay so good this has not been taken by anybody you can see successfully it worked now the next thing for me to do right now is for me to um, basically go ahead and add in my password and um, it is very very important that you know that adding a strong password is required for this new gmail account that you are creating if not you'll be declined by google so i'm going to go ahead and fit in my password right now all right, guys, you can see immediately I fit in my password. You can see that I have nothing else to do apart from me adding my recovery email. You can see that the part of the phone number has actually been skipped. You can see I don't have to do that right now. Good. You can see that I was moved to the add recovery email. So this is actually something I just discovered myself while I was trying to look for a better way to serve you guys a new video on how you can create um, your Gmail account without verifying with phone number. And you can see it actually worked for me and that was why i said oh if this is actually working it can also work for you guys but remember that as many guys are watching this video and many people who are trying it out there are tendencies that in the future it might not get to work but so those of you watching this video right now you can go ahead and try it out and see if it also works for you but please i'm telling you please make sure you just follow the same steps that i took to get my account created but now that we've been able to um you know skip the phone number part you can see that i have my recovery email here so it's left for me to choose if i want to add a recovery email or i don't want to add a recovery email so i'm also going to skip this part because i don't want to add a recovery email now once i've been able to do all of that now i'm going to go ahead and come over to this place that says accept terms and conditions and now this is where many people miss it okay and if you miss it right here you might not be successfully able to create your own um gmail account without the use of a phone number so you want to go ahead and prove to google that you're a real human okay and now what do i mean you want to go ahead ahead and pretend like you're reading all those things okay give time to this browser to just be open for a bit of time right now once you go through all those things you can see right here this particular one you want to make sure you check mark this box here so please go ahead and check mark in this box it actually shows that proof that you are really a human being it proves to google that you are truly a human being who is going to be using the gmail account for legit reasons right so once you've been able to check mark this box here okay you can see that successfully guys we've been able to open our new gmail account without the use of a phone number you can see how amazing and how super super easy it is so creating a new gmail account with this method can actually work for you if you follow the exact steps that i took right so i'm just going to recap and tell you guys some things that you might need to do on this new account so that you don't get your account suspended because it's possible for you to create your new account and in few minutes you can get it suspended why because they can actually track some things that are not supposed to be on your gmail account once those things are figured out you can lose your account so please follow me because the video has not ended so the first thing i did was to show you guys how you can install the opera mini browser into your computer once you've been able to do that you want to make sure you go ahead and use incognito mode please make sure you're taking note of that incognito mode and you have the vpn turned on so once the vpn is turned on the next thing you want to do is to go ahead and do every other thing like putting in a real name and also a date of bread okay you want to make sure you do all of that don't skip any of those processes and once you've been able to do that you should be able to create your own gmail account without any phone number verification now once you've been able to create your phone um sorry your new email address you want to go ahead and uh, you want to make sure that everything is well with the email address you can see that once you've been able to open our own new email address you can see that everything is just as fine as a brand new email account that was verified with the phone number you can see no difference at all we have everything right there so if you go ahead and send this email a message it would just 
get delivered into the inbox folder so it's really really easy for you guys to create your own gmail account without the use of a phone number so as much as i want to show you guys all those things okay if i get a better method on how to do it i'm going to come back here on the channel and i'm going to share with every one of you so if you found this video so, so helpful please don't leave this clip without subscribing smashing the like button and tell me what you feel in the comment section below and of course if it gets to work for you please come back and tell me it worked for you but if you did not please make sure you go ahead and tell me so i can look for a much more better way in satisfying your hunger in wanting to create a new jimmy account without phone number verification okay so thank you so much and i'll see you in my other videos and please until next time you take care of yourself and bye